In the not too distant future, then Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Keep in mind, Joel can't control where the movies begin or end Because he used those special parts to make his robot friends Robot, Joel called Cabot Gypsy, Tom Servo Crook You're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts Then repeat to yourself, it's just the I should really just relax For a mystery science theater Three thousand Thirty seconds to commercial sign Hey everybody, it's me, it's Joel. I'm marooned out in outer space and now you're trapped in the vacuum with me. The robots are throwing me a little party today. Commercial sign in 15 seconds. Uh, we're expecting a call from the evil scientist who shot us into space for the invention exchange. But until then, we're going to party like it's 1990. Commercial sign in 5, 4, 3, 2. Commercial sign now. We're going to be back in a matter of seconds. So stick around. I spiked this punch with anyway. It's uh, 10W30 and Tang. Oh. Oh. oh, act like your parents are home. The scientists are calling. Come in, Joel, my little free-floating clam bake. <gasps> hey, sir, what happened to you? Well, we had a little mishap in, in the lab this week. We were trying to make a cold fusion Walkman, and I, I don't know what happened, but, well, you see what happened. A anyway, well, Dr. Forrester will be here in a second. He's just trying to make himself look presentable. Just make with the invention exchange, wild boy. Oh, okay. Well, this is an invention in honor of the party today that the robots are throwing. When I was a boy, I used to play with one of these. All right. And now, uh, I'm a man. All right. Uh, what's your invention, sir? It's... never mind. Are you okay, Clay? Yes, Larry. Remember, it's all in the name of science. Well, <clears throat> Joel, I guess our uh, little experiment this week is going to be a powerful healing salve that will allow us to regain our rugged good looks. Maybe our hair. Nothing wrong with my hair, Larry. Jeepers. You guys look like something from a Wes Craven's children's book. Mm. Thank you. you. Well, your film today, Joel, is called Black Scorpion. It's a Mexican film with effects by Ray Harryhausen, the man who brought you the Seven Voyages of Sinbad. It's filled with blue screen action and jerky monster movement, but at least there's no recognizable talent in it. <laughs> Enjoy. Yep. Scientists really look terrible. Hey, it's Krakatoa, east of Java. Fentonville, east of Muncie. <laughs> wow, is that a crack house or what? Cops is filmed on location. Everything you see is true. Yellowstone, 1988. Fire lay waste over 700,000 acres of pristine virgin pines. Only one man can fight these flames. Red Adair. Red Astaire. Hey, it's Universal Studios. That have wrecked their homes and destroyed their lives. Beans. And so today, again they kneel, terrified and helpless, as a new volcano is created by the mysterious and rebellious forces of nature. Horny, broad voice announcer, uses his mighty voice to put fear in the viewer's mind. Of rich farmlands have cracked and dropped from sight. 
and millions of tons of molten lava are roaring down the slopes. Guys, get out of the way. That's why you're dying. The of Mexico has the most violent of modern times. To the benighted citizenry of this remote countryside... Let's make s'mores later. Okay. Can you bring the crowd? No, I left them in the Volvo. ...having reached a towering height of 9,000 feet within a few days. And then, tragedy struck. We ran out of stock footage. ...into a wider circumference. But what is now most feared is, is that yet? rescue work will be severely hampered by the hazardous inaccessibility of the terrain. The wavy tidal. Something tells me this movie is uh, about our friendly neighbors to the south. Um, Tom, there's no south in space. Carlos Misquiz, Pascal Pina, Fanny Schiller, Pedro Galvan, Duncan and Breeze, Lyndon, Edmund Fitzgerald. This must be his rack. That's uh, Edward. Alfred and Dietz. And Ludwig. Now, Junior, we're just looking for a place to picnic here. Now, I know Gary's buried around here someplace. Look around for that shallow grave. Well, there she is. Mom? Yeah. Fuck, it looks like a volcano to me. Hey, why does he need a pipe? Why doesn't he just suck in some air? Feel the pumice power go to work on your lungs. And that volcano looks as far away as it ever did. Nobody stuck a gun in your back to make you become a geologist. Yeah, but you don't have to rub it in. Hey, look, looks like it's from the old mash set. You know, if there's any other village within 50 miles of here, a sign like this could confuse people. Huh? Huh? I don't get it. Ah, it looks like somebody else has been through here lately. Yeah, army truck maybe, police. Hey, wait, that's my motorman's helper. Don't get me wrong, Doc, I love this Mexico of yours, but... But I like my Mexico better. Got a little plastic burrow? It's me. How did you get permission so fast? For my group, I mean. After all, red tape and that sort of thing. Simple, just told them the truth, that you needed me along as an interpreter. And to mop up your sweat. <laughs> that may be true. But I think the language you really spoke best was with our secretary, who secured all the documents for you. Oh, I didn't use Spanish with her. I used Greek. It really confused the hell out of her. <laughs> Incredible. Truly, isn't it? What, the screen behind us? Estimates are right. This quake may be as severe as Mount Paley. This driving Vesuvius. effect? San Francisco. Lucky there are so few people up here. Well, there were enough. Meanwhile, on a pole somewhere... Oh, hiya, linesman. Hi. How far you come, fellas? Mexico City. We left on Monday. Where do you want to go? San Lorenzo. How far is it, do you know? Who knows how the bridges are? The bridges maybe are? A police car went by just before sundown. They didn't come back, so maybe they got through okay. Was San Lorenzo hurt badly? Who knows? The telephone line is out down since the earthquake. Thanks a lot. See you later. Take it easy. Goodbye. So See you long. later. Up Wiedersehen. Hasta luego. Boy, am I hungry. Is that my stomach growling or yours? What the devil was that? I don't know. The devil? Oh, ordinarily, I've got nothing against Moonlight Nights, but I'll be glad to get by this one. What kind of oil mixture do you use? It's like a farmhouse up ahead. Maybe we can get some water up there. I hope so. I'd like to save those last two bottles of beer. Two bottles of beer in the Jeep. Two bottles of beer. Pass one down, pass around one. Wow. Here in the team.
I'll just move this high voltage power line with uh, this piece of metal. Just let me dip it in water first. station ever looked better. Hello? Anybody home? I'll see if I can find the well. Hey, hello in there. Hello, hello out, out there. there. For our Jeep. Nope, we don't, don't need a Jeep. Uh-uh. Hey, hi. 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 Look at this. So it's a pile of bricks. See them all the yeah, time. Hey, another pile of bricks and a card that says Black Scorpion Wrecking Services. What could it mean? Look at that. Wow, it's a car. Hey, that make a cool Ford. Yeah. Yeah, it's a '55 Ford with little work. Could be cherry. Yeah, we chop it, drop it, add some crush pipes, and be great. Certainly have no idea what could have happened or why. What could do this to a car out here? Well, I'm no insurance adjuster, but a big truck or the neighbor kids could have. Calling 511. Do you read me? Both ways. Sergeant Vega, do you read me? This is headquarters. Hey, there's a small man in the glove box. Help me find his torso. Hello. Hello, do you read me? 511. I read you, Sergeant Vega. What's your location? I'm in the front seat, but I'm not Sergeant Vega. Better take this. Your head man down here. Hello? Go ahead, please. This is Arturo Ramos, professor of geology from the university. My associate and I came upon this patrol car. There has been an accident. I believe we're a few kilometers south of the village of San Lorenzo. Where's Sergeant Vega? He's not here. He... No one is here. The car is badly damaged, but there's no blood. Did the car run off the road? No, there is frankly. no road. Didn't the police sergeant make a report after the accident? The radio's working. No, we have heard nothing. Thank you, Professor. Leave the patrol car as it is. We shall order military intelligence to send an emergency unit to San Lorenzo immediately. We will. Thank you for ordering. The total is 554. Please pull ahead to the second drive-thru window. Thank you. Not doing any good here, pal. Huh? Mm huh? -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hack. Some of my countrymen may like rattlesnakes in the house. I can do without them. Well, Let's take a look. Gotta kill with me. Bob, if you die, can I have your hat? You know, this would make an excellent miniature golf course. Hey, look back here. There's a key light. This house is filled with Christmas trees. Ten bucks a foot? Jeez. Well, at least we know they're an advanced civilization. They've got Vic's Vapo Rub. Yeah, and now you're supposed to pick it up with your forearms and leave the monastery forever. <laughs> and walk on the rice paper. Bob, look. Baby tracks. What's behind the curtain? It's a baby boy! All right, kids, start talking. <laughs> Come on, Al, let's just That rattlesnake snake is the worst kind of them all. Let's blast it. Come on, fella. Hey, how do you know his name was Fella? You have practice, Mr. Scott? I uh, used to be Mrs. I guess Scott. So, with four brothers and two sisters. Wait a minute. They were older than me. What do you suppose caused this wreck? That police car out there? Could have been a bull. Well, if it was, it had to be the grandpappy of the biggest bull that ever was. The Schlitz Malt Liquor Bull. Mm -hmm. The wild eyed The, the, the grass eater. Yep. So? Look, when I've already got a half a dozen questions I can't answer, I try to ignore any new ones. You think we ought to use the radio to tell them about the kid? Nope. I think we ought to get to San Lorenzo as quick as we can. Now, <laughs> look at this kid. Not a peep out of him. Peep. 
You know, if I ever have any of my own, I, I think I'll feed them beans and tortillas, too. Then I'll be able to get some sleep nights. I doubt it. <laughs> no more beans and tortillas for that kid. Hey, wait a minute. I'll just leave him here on the seat of the car. What's behind this tree? It's a dead calf! That's right, Bob. It's a 1953 Senora Policia, complete with 38 snub nose revolver, dilated pupils, and rigor mortis. You, too, will sleep soundly in your own Senora Policia. From Spiegel Catalog, Chicago, Illinois, 60609. Funny place for a wax museum. He's dead, you idiot. I got a wax museum in my ear. I told him not to eat the worm. Hello? 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 We only found Sergeant Vega and the baby. I have that, Professor. Right. You said Vega's revolver had all chambers fired. Yes. Oh. And what? We wish we knew, too. Thank you again. The emergency unit will be in San Lorenzo tomorrow. They're Sorry. sending a right. unit to San Lorenzo? Oh. What do you think that announcer looks like? I uh, picture him kind of tall, good looking. You? Uh, I don't know. The San Lorenzo Milling Around Festival. Hey, G.I. Joe, number one. Hey, mister, my sister, boobly oobly. Chocolate. Hey. Uh, sorry about that, Gary. You gotta remember the duck boy. What's the matter, muchachos? Dad's trap? Dead Rock Canyon? Thank God. Now I ask him in Spanish. No está el presidente municipal. Okay, now ask him in French. Welcome okay, do German again. I love this. Arturo Ramos of the University. Dr. Henry Scott from the United States. Oh, thank you. I'm afraid I can't introduce this one. Manuel Tiburcio. And the parents? They don't give to me. I didn't do it. I think it might be better if we discuss this inside, Father. Mm, that in practice. Perla, ¿dónde estás, Perla? Voy, señor. Dead. They were dead. And now, Father, do you believe there's a demon bull killing us all one by one? Perla. I'll take Manuel. I'll take him with me. You know, Gary talked but to me that way once. Once. Gentlemen, I know you are weary after your journey. Can I offer you what hospitality the village may provide? We tie you to a pole and spank you with reeds. The Milling Mount Festival continues well into the night. Let the mill out of here. Pushed in as though it were fair. Yeah. Let's mill. Finding the sergeant. The look of death none of us had ever seen before. All right, as you guys have probably noticed, most of the people in this cast are from Mexico, and I thought it'd be nice take advantage of that to have a little cross-cultural learning experience, all right? Complete with subtitles? Right, that's right, Cambot. Cool. You're going to put the subtitles up on the screen, interpreting the language of our southern brethren. Now, uh, we're not that good at it, but we're trying to learn, and hey, that's the most important thing, isn't it? Well, we sure think so. That's right, muchachos. You want some uh, refritos? No, I'm no. stuffed. Good no, 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 not no. mm. a bite. I'm well, oh, guilty. You don't know what you're missing. Time to talk about the film. El Dando Cinemato es la preparo en moto cambrio. Mi casa es su casa. ¿Dónde está tú? El gato y moto e moto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, oh, boy. Introduco el piñate. Oh, kitty. El, la Plaza del Domingo e Carmen Miranda, el Moto Brio e can, Chili Con Carne, este tu Jose Cuervo, por favor. We? <laughs> Never mind. Hey, uh, pass me a flour tortilla, will you? Are you sure you don't want some green sauce with this, oh, Carl? No, no, I hate green. Mm. Hey, here, and maybe in the morning things won't seem quite so mysterious. Indeed, I hope so. Here we are, isolated almost cut off from civilization. 
having lost family or friends. Something absolutely unknown. Speak Spanish, anybody? We si. could be in another world. Yeah. Hello. Good night, buddy. Good night. They sure headed off to bed early. We missed dinner. <laughs> The milling festival ends in chaos. Two angry villagers slap each other senseless with large T-bone steaks. Really appreciate it. That's all right. Spanking. It was great. See you late this afternoon. Dr. Ramon, Dr. Scott, I will ask you one more time not to begin this unnecessary expedition. Major Christie, Look, Dr. Frank, Williams drop the cheesy accent. Questions. I don't see how we can be of any further service to you. No, I don't require you for my work here. I only know pleasure. that if you start for that crater and find yourself in any kind of difficulties, men who are much more badly needed here will have to go find you. Sorry, Mr. Selfish. Sorry. So that's why you must come back safely and before sundown with all the answers to your questions and mine. I'm into that, Sluggo. I mean, Father Sluggo. <laughs> Padre. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now you've got me. This looks like a what good place say, to Doc? put the boat in. Over that side or over here? Neither one of them looks exactly like a Pan American highway. Funny. <laughs> Everyone's always said that the best fishers were on the eastern slope. You can see the lava there. Maybe we can get close enough to get some pictures and plan our best approach. Hmm. Just keep drinking. It's a Cisco kid. Hey, I can see another movie through my binoculars. I don't know about that, but I found something a lot more interesting. Hey, it's Dale Evans, and I thought she was stuffed. Yeah. Only mounted. Oh, see, see, senor. Here, have a look. It'll do you a lot more good than that bottled water. <laughs> Again, he zung me. I don't see anything. Oh, yes. Now I see him. Oh, Doc, you haven't got that thing in focus. There, focus. And it's a very handsome horse, and I'd like to get started. Oh, I know she's horse. a little plump, but come on. Who? There was a girl on that horse. Come on. The horse must get have eaten her. And find her. I think I see her. Hey, that's the same place they filmed Robot Monster. Now, don't move too much. I said don't move. We'll find out if you're all right first. Hey, she's all right, and oh, she'll be right. perfect for our experiments. Except I could have done this more gracefully if I'd known spectators were around. Looked fine from where I'm standing. Definitely now. No broken bones, senorita? No sharp pain? No, really, I'm all right. I've fallen off Lucero before. Not for many years, but... I really can ride, gentlemen. <coughs> Sure. I mean, I know, I'm here to it. Thanks, Scott. Dr. Arturo Ramos. Oh, the look of the Alvarez. Come off a horse and land right next to a doctor. Doctors of geology. We operate only with little hammers on rocks. If Say, you have kidney horse, stones, we're the guys to call. Oh, don't bother. Lucero always goes back to Miraflores. But the uh, saddle, I don't know. Uh, I'll get it. <laughs> you're very kind. No, he's not. I'm kinder. Do you happen to have a canteen? Oh, sure. Oh. Right on the cheek. Come on. There's a mirror you can use. Right. Hey. Well, we'll be here several weeks at least. See, we're conducting a sort of a try a little of this. Uh, I made it myself. It's my own sweat. Here sometime next month. You make it sound like a very intriguing occupation. Oh, well, I didn't mean to. It's interesting volcanoes. And you're one of them. Huh. What do you know? A couple of rocks piled on top of other rocks. That's kind of fishy. Just dig down a little bit and, yeah. What? Thou shalt not kiss? What? Thou shalt not kiss. Huh. Better take that back. Sure make the saddle heavier, but... Hey, Hank! Look at this. It says, thou shalt not kiss. Thank you, Doctor. What do you make of that? Well, I guess you. we're not supposed to kiss. I found this near the saddle. Oh, is that good? I'll say it is. It's obsidian. Oh, I don't think it's that bad. Well, I wouldn't know. 
paddle yet, but rocks. Could I ask another favor of you? Can I borrow sure. some makeup? Would you mind turning back and taking me to San Lorenzo? I'd be glad to. Oh, thank you. Wow, you'll do anything for a chick. I must get there today. You see the telephone. Where'd you get your hat blocked, Dale? I have Dale? some riders to help with my cattle. That old volcano is really causing a lot of trouble this time. Yeah, we we heard in the village about your cowboys. Oh. Well, if I lose my cattle, I lose everything. How are things in San Lorenzo? Well, the oh, milling so festival so. is over, ended in a weird steak fight. Found a baby, though, gave it to a priest, and voice. that pretty much sums up so where we are in the movie. The well, the weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was we haven't learned of yet. Is that any reason to act like frightened children? I don't think it's just a poisonous plant, senorita. Even in this climate, you don't grow them that can push in the side of a building and wreck a car. Oh, but we do. Uh, you're not from around here, are you? You're strange, man. The milling festival over, the citizens are loaded onto flatbed trucks like so many cattle. Everybody, don't care. Oh, uh, don't forget. You promised to use Miller Flores as your headquarters. It will be a great convenience, senorita. A little bit later? Right. Hey, Steve, I'll flip you for Hey, you see my haircut? Hey. Look, I got a haircut, too. Good too. Look, haircut, 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 haircut. We all got our haircut. Moco, Felipe, Jose, all of you. Let me ask you this. Are those foam hats? If I told you to wear mouse ears. If your father were alive today, would you become frightened of sounds in the night and run like silly children to the safety of the village? Hmm. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. I, yes. I say only this, muchachos. I've known you all for all my life. We've always worked together. Me usually bossing you around. Many of you were born at Metaphors. That's right. If you don't wish to return just to help me save my cattle for me, then return to save me, of course. Hey, some muchachos. Ah, looks like the answer is no. Gracias. All right, senors, back to my house for tacos. Hats on. Dr. Scott, Mayor Corsio wants to see you. Where is he? In the laboratory with Dr. De La Cruz. Laboratory? You'll be surprised at the experiments that go on there. He's making a taco Tourist salad where you can actually eat the ball. Is the Vanta Patrolman? Yes. Hmm. Sergeant Vega, who lived during his duty and who may perform a greater one now. Please. You see, I deep fried a small portion of soft shell. Now look at the sauce I mixed up here. They are flavor buds. They are bursting with flavor. Well, look like subcutaneous cells that are just burst or run rampant. So that sauce is My really, is really hot from then, from right? Top. Not from any poison I can identify with this equipment. Lopez, you help again, please. Isn't that the guy from the Eurythmics? And this pure alcohol. And this the still water. And this tequila. Ha, that's for me. In this water with some more salt. And then bring some Shinola and we'll compare it with the last one I gave you. I think it is a poison then. I do. Uh, not a chemical poison, Doctor. No. But I believe, for many reasons... More like a pig, like I use in my hair. I have had a little experience with them. The venoms of the snakes, the wasp spiders. But I will prepare the slides and the specimens and take them to a man in Mexico City who will be sure to know. Now, do you serve Alaska. those with uh, crackers Alaska? or do you spread them on those toasted garlic rounds? Well, as you say, if it's an organic poison, anything garlic from rounds. nature, okay. the great Velasco will identify it. The great Velasco, juggler, sword swallower, and pathologist well, extraordinaire. There's only one wound here, but not blood. Then, the situation of the tissues, the strange bacteria, bacteria, I think, uh, found in the soil samples near the footprints. Footprints? Footprints. Footprints? Footprints. 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 Where something knocks down dwellings, 
flattened cloned fields. Now these aren't actual footprints. This is feta cheese, uh, but it smells like feet, and that's as close as we could get. Whatever it is, my friends, I don't believe anyone has ever seen a foot, a claw, this size, except those poor unfortunates who wish they never had. One what? question, Doctor. I hope I can answer it. The alcohol, the distilled water, the salt solution, I, I can understand that. It all makes a great but salad dressing, doesn't it? Well, uh, in your country, I believe you call it uh, the coffee break. <laughs> hey, let's all grab a margarita and head out to my turtle pool. What do you say, huh? <laughs> Hey, it's the Big Valley, and there's Barbara Stanwyck. There goes the Surrey with a fringe on top. Don't forget the Alamo. No, wait, we can do better. Uh, David Crockett is a dork. No. Remember the... Oh, forget it. Well, it looks like you were pretty lucky. Thing really came close, didn't it? Yeah, yeah it used to be worse. We were blessed that it didn't go any further. Our plantation would have been ruined like the rest of the land. It makes a lot of sense. Meanwhile, back at Naperville, Illinois. Senorita, thank heaven you're safe. Oh, really? I was worried about you. I was yesterday without you. I began to search the hills. Oh, Pio, I'd already been found by someone else. This is Dr. Scott and Dr. Ramos. This is my foreman, Pio. Hi, Pio. Well, this Good way. Time. Jump. Not only comfortable, but cool, too. Yes, yeah, sometimes I think being cool is by far the most important on days like this. Well, I know you want showers. Yeah, it looks like she lives at the Gallo Winery. Florentina, show Dr. Ramos to the blue room. And then Senorita. sponge bathe our guests, Florito, won't you? You show Dr. Scott to the left wing. I'll take care of them. Well, I'll see you later, and you can tell me all about your expedition. You mean in the shower? <coughs> Not bad, Doc. Uh, Meanwhile, in the shower. Uh, uh, the day's work, Chamaco. Not bad. Double All right, everybody, thank yeah. you, but Oklahoma has yeah. been cast get already. Brought in by Thursday. Why put on such a face? We will do it if I have to stay in the saddle without sleep myself. Sure. Yeah, don't you understand? Can't you see the cattle knows that something evil is carried on the wind? Let us wait. That's the cat. All women, Chamaco. Now let us have a good supper and forget these superstitions. Hey, quit hey, shoving quit back pushing. there. Ooh. Hey, Ooh. cut it out. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the dog. Would you like some brandy, sir? Brandy yes, for a dog? Thank you. Just a minute. Juanito, hurry with the brandy. Would you like some too? Please. I'll take care of them. Which is gracious. Take a shot for yourself, little buddy. Kid's kind of a kiss up, isn't he? Jerry Mathers has the Bivero. May I make a complaint, Teresa? Oh, I'm sorry. What was not done suitably? Uh, the dog was a little well, well done. It. Everything was done beautifully. You know, you're making it very difficult to think about settling down to work. Well, is that so bad? That all depends. Might be very bad if I stopped thinking about work altogether. Just started concentrating on pleasure. Hank, those volcanoes have been there for hundreds of years. I'm sure they wouldn't mind waiting just a little longer. What are they talking about, Joel? Uh, I didn't expect sexual to be healing? Volcanoes. I've got something to show you. Let me put my new uh, Leonard Nimoy album on. He sings the ballad of Bilbo Baggins. See? I noticed it last night at the village. Huh. Looks like a decoupage Hummel. See anything? I like it. Put it up it. against the light. Looks like Wisconsin Dells. That's fantastic, Doc. Thank you. Don't be entrapped in there. You are bold and assertive, and you get along well with so. Libras. A few hundred years old, but there he is. I wanted to show it to you before I broke it open. I mean, not on the table. I just had it refelted. Alive. Hey, 
it's a prehistoric <laughs> crunchy tree. Jar? I can't believe it. Life enduring for centuries like this, and under all that heat. My underwear the drawer. Will certainly be interesting. Hey, I hope you know you voided the warranty when you cracked it open, pal. I think I'll name him Buster. It's an ancient squeaking scorpion. Pardon me, senores. Do you like to keep scorpions? I know a place where they are millions. Oh, not like this one, Juanita. This one squeaks. Pancho! Cisco! If you don't know how to behave, I have to send you out. I want a magnifying glass to watch this little monster. You mean the little kid? You know, I could throw this scorpion out the window, and then we'd really be alone. Well, except it's for the dog, the that? cook, the small Why boy, and your friend. Why don't we? Oh, excuse me. The line's been fixed. Is that a problem? Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm a lineman for the county, and I drive the main road. Oh, is the line all fixed? All clear, ma'am. Made up long since the last one, senora. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the star of our show, it's the Roaches. Oh, uh, you got a little, uh... Works every time. Oh, he's leaking. Look at that. Ooh. Let's see, what am I hungry for? Uh, lobster, yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh, hi, Krusty. Hi, lady fish. Yes, I know. What? No, what's on first? What a time to be stuck up a pole. Once you've tasted lineman, you'll never go back. Bet you can't eat just one. The line's been bugged. Listen to this. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, what's wrong? No cop! Uh, could you scream a little slower? I can't understand you. Roughly translated, he's saying this would not have happened had we installed fiber optics. I think I can take that thing. Sunday, 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 we turn the floor of the Senor Desert into a giant blood pit. It's machine meets arachnid in one-on-one -on -one action. Go, go, the gorilla and all-time powerful meister, Big Scorp. Delicious guy on a stick. Oh, you got a little, uh... A neat treat that's fun to eat. Uh, this might, uh, sting a bit. Uh, no, it's gonna sting a lot, definitely. Where's the Arroyo Bridge? In Arroyo. Pancho, what's happening to you tonight? Well, I gotta do a film with Jim Belushi. Jack, we have to go over to the bridge. There's some trouble. Come on. Can you be a good boy? Come back. Come back, Rim Tin Tin. Look, kid, the dog obviously doesn't like you. Dogs love the rich taste of gigantic scorpions. Shouldn't we unhook the boat first? The truth, I cannot say. Well, Mr. Hand, that's Juanita. Juanita, who's going to save a kid named after a snack cracker? Run, Juanita. Not that way. Call for help. Don't shoot the boy, shoot the monster. Ha, I'm getting scared. <laughs> Mrs. Butterworth, help! He's safe! Operator! 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 Don't 
understand it at all. Well, we'll go through it again one more time, okay? All at right. approximately the same time every day, Joel goes into his cabin, stretches out horizontally on his bunk, and closes his eyes. Yeah, and, and then he holds perfectly still and shuts down. No, except it's not a complete shutdown, because every now and then he rolls over and he'll say things like, Oh no, Mr. French, Buffy didn't hide the cat. Or, or oh yeah, one time I heard him yell, Don't stop, don't stop. Right, but that's not the weird... Gypsy, Gypsy, we're busy here. It's not the weird part, it's really not. He'll get up, he'll walk into a little closet, and he makes water. Yeah, and what does he do with it? He flushes it out into space, so <laughs> <Yeah>. figure. <laughs> It'd be like if we were to just uh, drain hydro fluid to jettison it into space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute girl. Uh, go take a powder, huh? Okay, here's a paradox for you. He's programmed to grow hair on his face, right? But yeah. every time he gets up from his bunk, he cuts it off. Yeah, right, and then it grows back again the next day. What does he do? He cuts it off again. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of those logically strange loops. Some sort of bizarre non-Euclidean human projection pattern which makes no sense. Leave me some sort of hidden... Oh, I tell you, buddy, human nature is hard to think of figure. Oh, we got movie sign. Let's go! Why'd you break Gypsy? Because she tried to consume me, Joel. There you go. Thank you. Uh, this is the operator. I'm not in right now. Nothing important is happening, so I left. This is a recording. Here comes the grand finale. Love this part. This is your landlord calling. I'm sorry, but uh, you won't be getting your damage deposit back. Oh, come on, everybody. It's just a big bug. Ain't you ever seen a big bug before? Come on, nothing to worry. Whoa, what the? Gary, get out of my way. It's crazy, Dave. We're slashing and bashing prices. Yes, that's right. All giant scorpions get him free. Free hot dogs and balloons for the kids. Hey, come on down and visit me in Coke jail. I'm in Coke prison. Get me out. Get me out. Come on. Come on down to Crazy Days this Sunday. Oh, I saw that in Potemkin once. It's the Oaxaca step sequence. These soccer games really can get out of hand. And that's what's use your hands. Hey, get me, I'm stinging peasants. Uh, you know, I hate to tell you this, that's not how you use the gun, it's uh, upside down. It's utter chaos. <laughs> Kyle's utter... <laughs> How could I say that? <laughs> Just rope and throw and brand them. Don't try to understand them. Ah, uh, you got a little luck. I told you, kids, no horseplay in the house. You got a little, uh, yeah, a uh, little. Yeah. That thing can plow a driveway. It should be great. No, I don't think it can. It doesn't have the right attachments. Flint, Michigan. On a clear day, you can see the GM plant on the outskirts of town. Hey, and look, there's Michael Moore. I'm telling you, Brad, I'm going to get to Messina before Monty. Mesh 4077, best care anywhere. It's Sidney Friedman. Dr. Velasco. Dr. Hey, Hawkeye. Didn't recognize you in the civvies. This is fantastic. Bro, you like Dr. it? Thanks. Thank God, Father. We thought you were all dead. Just part of me. This is all that remains. Even the animals. I cannot speak of this night. Well, then just don't speak of it. Devoured. Father, I have been sent here in charge of emergency arrangements. All that are left will be moved to safety. Certainly. 
Please tell everyone to be ready to leave San Lorenzo. And father, they may only take what they can carry in their arms. I'm not your father. Where is the laboratory? Over there. Is it laboratory or laboratory? As soon as I received the samples, ah. I identified the poison as that of a scorpion. But I had no concept of the creature size until I saw this. Your feta cheese? This specimen found by Dr. Ramos is of a species thought to be extinct as a trigenera. As a what? We have known it in a fossil state, but never alive. Now from the bowels of the earth, it has come forth again to plague the earth. What can we do? I emptied the machine gun at one of them. I beg of you all not to lose your head. In any sense. Have you tried reasoning with But we them? have a few advantages against this enemy. First, they are small. We can run fast. Night. Thus, we have the daylight hours to try to find and destroy them. Secondly, they are somewhat slow and lethargic. And Until we have giant 40-foot pincers. Uh, no, wait, that's a scorpion. I still ask one question, sir. Yes. What weapon do you intend to use? Gat. <laughs> well, we're in Mexico. That should be easy to find. It has been proved effective against normal species. Let us pray it works against Enormous the pieces? If it does not, we give up and die. May God help all of you. Or some of you. Like you. Okay, so Milling Festival's call? over. It's the big hat fest. I want to do what I can, too. Senorita Alvarez, I understand your emotion. Believe me, Dr. Velasco, I'm not trying to be emotional. I wouldn't ask to come along if I thought I couldn't help. Teresa, you don't know the hardships. Dr. Velasco, Major Cosillo. I know this area like the palm of my hand. But you can't Better ride a horse to here. save her life. I'm a good shot. You said yourself you needed all the help you could get. Senorita Alvarez, I think you have found yourself a job. The pay is rotten, Gentlemen, but the hours stink. Major Cosillo and I are planning this. See, I got this lake property, and it goes all the way back to the woods. I want to go with you. I want to do a job. Don't worry, Juanito. We'll get together again. That's a promise. Oh, uh, see if you can find my boots for me, will you? I know who they are. Oh, they stink. Whew. Hey, did you actually pay for these? Yeah. Line, please. Here they are. Oh, good. Yeah, very, well, stop very eyeballing them, kid, and give them to me. Kind of like those, huh? Mm-hmm. Tell you what, Juanita. When, uh, when you get to be a big man, I'll get you a pair just like these. Uh, no thanks. Oh, thank you, Mr. Hank. You like that, huh? Uh-huh. I know how to write very good. I know how to shoot very good. Yeah, and yeah, we know you're super so Too bad you can't act. Almost a half a man. Hey, can I call you Gary? A half a man. <laughs> oh, Juanita. You know, sometimes even a half a man has a lot of different jobs to do. And right now, the most important job for you to do is to take care of your grandmother. She can take care of herself. Offer her one. You'll be paid well for it. You've got plenty of time to do more exciting things. And you, you be very careful on don't get hurt, won't you? You no. work on your diction. I I'll catch up with you later. And a fool me. Yeah, that's what Shane story. said. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Fifteenth fairway. Boy, I wish they'd keep those horses away from the green. Oh, I don't see a thing, Dr. Velasco. Might as well go on. All right. You're playing a top light five, aren't you? I usually use range balls out here in the rough. They're playing the volcano hole. Next is the windmill, and that's really tough. Now it looks like he's going to use an iron on this one. A little hard to believe, but he's been having a lot of trouble with his driver in his woods. Looks like he's going for a tough par. Hey, he was in our foursome last week. This is a rough hole. Major? Yes, Doctor. Tell your captain to hold all the heavy equipment until we call for it. You mean the irons? A great big opening! Here's the pin, everybody. Let's go. Yeah. Wow, it is tough. He's got a four caddy that hole. Look, there's something wrong with his horse. He's throwing in. No, actually.
actors were abused in the making of this motion picture. That's going to cost him a stroke. Take a full swing! We must get down to the lower level. The ladies' tea? Okay, who has the orange ball? Hey, they moved the pin. This crevice is new. It must have opened during one of the earthquakes. This looks like a job for us, Doc. Of course. No chance for Mendoza? Yeah. How deep do you say it is? Well, Doc and I have been down many a cave, but there's no way of really telling it to you. It cuts down into the right. You should be able to bogey it. Hey, cut it out. Ouch. Well, the only way we can find out is try to go down there ourselves. What do you say, Doc? What, are you Dr. high? Will that poisonous gas work in a crevice this big? I could not anticipate such a void as this. I'm not a big enough major. crevice. Major, I think you better bring all your heavy equipment up here. Crane, tanks, and all. Captain, bring the crane and all the heavy equipment. You want my men to go down there? It is suicide. Don't worry about it. Doc and I haven't had a decent elevator ride in a long time. We commit suicide every day. Got my snowmobile here. Snowcat, really a beauty. What are you doing here? I'm a stowaway. No, you're a volunteer, kid. Do me a favor, will you? And just stay out of the way. Yes, Mr. Hank. Good. And then just sit in the Jeep like a big boy, okay? Yeah, wear that checkerboard bib overhauls and hold a big sloppy hamburger like that. Why the bird, Professor? Because if the bird stops singing, that means there's poison gas in the cave. Fine time to go Thank jousting. You don't have to do it. Neither of you. It's not your responsibility. Whose responsibility is it? The, the producers. producers. The army. The people who live here. That... Now look, Doc and I know more about caves than anyone else here. Give me my gum back. Thank you. Now you got it. Here, I want you to have it. Why did you do that? Maybe I just wanted to see what you do. What did I do? Well, I don't know, but you did it first. Senorita. You can help us if you will keep the log of the descent. How many meters down? The reports which are made? Sure. Keep yourself busy. That's my theory. Oh, and uh, don't forget to take care of little Juanito. Juanito? Oh, you mean my kid. <laughs> and so we enter the cage, knowing the Earth's fiercest creatures await us below. Jaja. Right, ja. <laughs> he said down. Lower and lower we go, traveling past the matte paintings. Really suffer from the bends or nitrogen narcosis. Uh, I think we're going to need a lot bigger boat, you guys. Should I get the cops? I get the cops. Yeah, down there. Oh, stop, Cage. Big, stop. big crab. Stop the cage a minute. Big guy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bring us up. Stop the cage. Right? Send down a little lemon butter. Uh, Hal, why don't you go down there and stand next to the creature so I can get a sense of scale? Okay, I got a picture of it. Lower on. All right, lower them down. Down? Did I say down? Up. I meant up. He's gonna clip that line like a nose hair. Hey, 
Hey, look over there. It says Arnie Sacknesson. Deeper and deeper we went unto our little thread was all the way down, you know. A huge cabin. I've never seen a cave so big in my life. Can you see the signs of Mendoza? No, not from here. We'll take a look around. Seems like a nice enough place. At first. At this depth, the sea feels immense and cold and lifeless, when actually it is teeming with life. Here we see a sea anemone. It is seemingly fragile structure adapted to the massive pressures. At this depth, the sea pressure could crush a man's head like a pimple. Hey, Chirpy. Is this doing? Here we see one of the beautiful creatures of the sea floor. Though it appears vicious to the eye, it's very docile. You can see the creature's lure, which is a lump of flesh in front of the ink sack. Well, this is the winner of the Uniroyal Pioneer Trophy. Now this float is called the Little Inchworm. It's made entirely out of white coral flowers and dried shellfish. It's a real piece of work. Kathy Lee? Hey. Answer. Hey, he likes to wear hats. We just find a bug that can wear this hat, and we've got our man. Or their worm. Exactly. Are you there, Hank? Dr. Ramos. Dr. Ramos. Elven boy hid behind the gas tank. Hello. 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 I Hello. Like Damn these side. sprint lines. Hello. Yes. Mendoza's dead. We just saw a worm 30 feet long. And boy, does hey, it catch hey, fish. Call up. Babe Winkleman. Hey. Oh, we want to look around a little more first. There's a big set over here, over here, over here. Stay down, Sabu. Oh, yuck, look out. <laughs> the ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Must be a nest. Yeah. The ants go marching one by one. The humans stop to shoot a gun. <laughs> Doesn't even penetrate it. Try another one. Better call Arkin. Or throw the boy at him. Yep. He's a scorpion prince, all right. the basement of the volcano? Is that the deal? Uh, made him mad. Not a good thing. You know, even if they catch that thing, they're going to need a lemon the size of a Volvo to eat it. I'll go make some yummy curry sauce with my own body. Becky, Engine Joe, Huck. Oh, let's knock off for the day, Bill. It's been a long one, and I could sure go for an ice cold brew. Scorpions like this always keep lots of ice cold beer around. Sounds like there's an opera going on next door.
got 20 bucks that says a scorpion wins this one. I'm just plain terrified. Got a foreign object. Wally Carbo, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. What does it smell like in here to you guys? Oh, Wilford Brimley? Good, make sure they can see us. Thanks a lot. That's how they kill each other. That weak spot in the throat. There must Good be eye. Go up there and strangle him, will you, Hal? Great, it's a wood tick. He's gonna get Lyme's disease now. Quick, get a lit cigarette. That doesn't sound like a giant mutated scorpion. Come on, afraid of a little tick, you little pansy. Juanito, come back. Cause you got some explaining to do, boy. Let's get some deep woods off and finish them off. Thought I told you to stay in the jeep. What are you doing down here? You knucklehead. I can't help you. To help us. No, come on. All right, you're bait. Come on. Holy buckets. Mr. Hick, Mr. Hick, look. Huh? Oops. Oh, well, this isn't good, not at all. I mean, I've seen good before, and it didn't look anything like this. Remember that bad thing we saw? Well, it looked like this, remember? Yeah, definitely bad. That scorpion really wants to use that phone booth. Okay, play him out a little. Keep your rod tip high. And when you're ready, set the hook. Pull the crane over, pull in. Throw some blocks under that crane. Oh, you do it. Those are cage, gas tanks, everything. Well, my lunch was in there. Great, we lost him. He went under the boat. Now we're out of bait. Here, take the cable, Doctor. Send it back down as fast as you can. Bring it in slow. Maybe they are on it. Oh, 
Don't pull it up. Please pull it up. Keep breaking it in. Just keep thinking about your happy thoughts. Don't look down. I know you're a bendy doll in this scene. Don't give up. Come on, hold on, hold on. I bet you couldn't even climb the rope in high school, could you? You cutlass wonder, you wimp. Get me, I'm a bendy doll. Higher and higher he goes. He's getting a nosebleed. How was it? By this time, my lungs were aching for air. What happened to Hank? Hank is Juanito down there, too. Get a loop on the cable. Send it down, quick. Make a loop on the cable. Loopy, on the cable. Okay, now get a shot of me with uh, the bug. Make a real good pose there. Oh, uh, I'll send the rope back down for you. I promise. Uh, by the way, can I have your bike? Great, he's a human pinata now. Darn, 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 darn. Grab a Mountain Dew and try that. It's a blast. Oh, Anita. Oh, Anita, why did you do it? We are engaged. Oh. It'll be dark in about an hour, and those scorpions will be coming out again. You couldn't use the gas? No, we lost it in the molten lab. There must be about 50 of those things down there. Can we close that opening with dynamite and seal it? Oh, you have no idea as to the size we'll of that it. place. Wait till you see these pictures. They're great. The Remember the corn palace last year? Specimen. Even better than that. You could Oops, make one of those I things left the lens cap on. Oh. Major, we must try to seal it shut with an explosion. We must try it before nightfall. Okay. So there was a hook on the door handle. Scary. The giants don't last that long. They eat their own weight every three or four days. But suppose they find another way, those those passages down there. This They're is the crafty. only place they have appeared. This uh, they did play a cruise ship, ship once with Eartha Kitt, but other than that... Major, yes, sir. let's close it. Ready? Aim. Let it go. Guess that does it. Want to bet? Seemed like a good idea. At first. Hey, your apartment is great. This isn't the end of anything. Not for us. The beginning. Oh? Hank, all of us have done our work now, and thank heaven it can be done without any more tragedy. And you still have your survey of the volcanoes to make yet. Uh, oh, by the fine. way, you're sitting on a hornet's nest. I'll be home every night for dinner. I have to leave at once. I should have left for the States two months ago to buy cattle for the herd. Did you leave the water running? You'll be in Mexico City for a week first, huh? Huh? Yeah. Very powerful I'll woman. I'll my work here with Doc, and I'll meet you there, and you can show me the town. Well, it's a city of eight billion people. You, you better go talk night. to the Chamber of a Commerce. Day, two days? I don't want to settle for just two days, Hank. I don't want just two days either. I want five days, five nights, double occupancy, airfare included. I don't want them to fool me either. I'm not done. I like you very much indeed. And I want you very much. <laughs> Your breath is like mummy meat. <laughs> Cookie. Meanwhile, at Hawaii Five O. Dr. Scott. Hello, I can hardly hear you. This is Dr. Velasco. Oh, Dr. Velasco. How are you, sir? Well, I'm tying up some details. Well, uh, yeah, it's Corpse Day down here, you know. Right now. Hank, 
I regret to have to complicate the plans you and Dr. Ramos have made for so long. But some of my colleagues here in Mexico are very, very anxious to talk to you both at once. Well, I, uh, I don't really think there's anything we can add to what you already know, Dr. Velasco. I am with the Director of Civilian Defense and High Army Officers right now, Hank. That's great. It is imperative that you both return here at once to complete your report. I don't like to say that you What kind of order. salary are we talking about here? Trouble with? Everything is under control, isn't it? There's no cause for alarm. Not at all. But a request for cooperation has been made or by, something. by a good neighbor to the South. Noriega? Well, if you put it like Daniel that, Ortega? Tio Sancho? We've already postponed the trip five times. I guess once more won't matter. What? Well, a plane, yeah, sure, that would help a lot. How do you plan on flying? Oh, uh, Dr. Velasco, uh, do you suppose there'd be room for three on that plane? Of course there'll be room for three. All I'm right, sir. Yes, sir, I understand. Right, see you then. Hasta luego. He you... bought it. Everyone hide behind the furniture. I don't think so. He assumes that the danger is completely over. That's fine. You seemed uh, very willing to postpone our trip once you learned that Teresa could ride with us on the plane. Well, at least it was uh, some sort of an inducement. My friend, remember, this is not the balcony of the neighborhood movie theater. Although the this floor is, is just as sticky. And when a man shows as much attention to a girl as you have, all of a sudden he's in the cathedral and wondering how he got there. So, what do you got against marriage, Doc? Oh, I try to remember what my father told me at one time. He said, Arturo... Every time hey, come on, you. Well, well, what are you, Gabe Kaplan here? What's with the story? Hey, get on with it. What, is this a Bob Newhart bit? Right, I'll get the sedatives. It's Benito Mussolini. Hey, I see your hair plugs yes, took. I'm Victor Esteban. Dr. Velasco has asked me to take you to him at once. Right away? I don't think her hat's quite Alvarez? dead yet. I have orders to take Senorita Alvarez whatever she wishes. But you gentlemen must then accompany me to the university. All right. You better get out of here. Let's go. Follow me. Look, it's the Kahlua factory. Follow me, please. Hey everybody, my name is Joel. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. Today uh, we have... I, I think his voice is a bit higher, sir, but more like this. <clears throat> hey, sirs, what's the experiment for this week? Well, yeah, that's pretty good, but he tends to roll his R's a little bit more like, uh, like this. Hey, what are you guys uh, up to anyway? Wow, that's perfect. That sounds just like him. Uh, Ixnay, Crow. Uh, Ixnay and the old J. He's... What? Oh, uh, right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we were uh, just doing our little tribute to the genius behind the character effects in this film. Yeah, that black scorpion is terrific. It's very realistic. Oh, and you know who the creator of the stop-action animation was? The one and only Willis O'Brien. Oh, we thought it was Ray Harryhausen. Oh, that's a good guess, but actually the great-granddaddy of them all was Willis O'Brien. Oh. oh. Yeah. He started the whole thing, actually. He's the guy who brought to the screen such great uh, science fiction characters as King Kong and Mighty Joe Young. Oh. Yeah, well, uh, didn't he also do a bunch of those dinosaur movies? Right. Yeah, he did uh, something like a Valley of the... Valley of the Mist, right? <gasps> and you'll be surprised to know that a very young... Uh, stop animation animator was on the scene just learning from Willis O'Brien and that man was Ray Harryhausen oh. and he also worked on Mighty Joe Young. Oh, so that's why we're confused. That's right, but you guys did a great job on this model. Thank Thanks. you. Hey, Cam, I'll bring it in a little bit. It's almost time to go to commercial sign. Um, we'll be right back, everybody, right after commercial sign. We must proceed as if there are... Yeah, that was a cute little model. I thought exactly it was cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I thought. We worked all night, worked all night on it. Almost directly across from the fissure where you and Dr. Scott descended. You will see, here is the fissure. This is San Lorenzo. On the Isle of Langerhans. here. Exactly here that the photograph was taken. Gentlemen, I still think you're making a mountain out of a molehill. Dr. Velasco Actually, it's knows a volcano. how that mountain went when we blew it up. Uh, nothing could live under those tons of rock. Not if they were under the rocks, no. I don't think I quite follow you. From your description, what Dr. Velasco told us, it is obvious that the cavern into which you two men descended is part of Chamilpa Caves. 
huge tunnels that run under the earth at depths up to five miles. Where we could live so that the, the animals could be Mexico bred and slaughtered? are flooded. Part of the underground lake. Look at that, he's sporting a girdle. Here they are. Check it out. Notice look. how this large fissure here is directly above this arm of the system. And which is slightly swollen this due to the pressure on the nutty bits. It's exactly the place where you took your photographs. Here on the now, seventh green, dog leg left. That here, where the scorpion was photographed from the air, is also part of the connecting system. The scorpions could easily have fled underground to one of many underground shelters. Uh, is this, this going to be on the final? What is that long arm there? Uh, that is a cavern which extends southward to within 20 miles of Mexico City. There, where it lies under the railroad. Hey. This is what we it's want. Walt Disney and friends. Of the and Adolf Manjo. To rush here. And when will they decide to come to the surface after Bob? After Bob? So that is why we brought you here. The day after tomorrow, we want you to address a group of scientific and military experts so that we may plan for any emergency. And we enjoy your what company. What kind of rifles were you using? How powerful! Well, the cartridges I was using are supposed to penetrate two inches of steel. But, but then, then I'm flying. The scorpions. How do they kill each other? The throat. There's a small Mental spot warfare. right here that has no armor. That's its weak point. When they and attack each breath. other, of course, they have the poison to inject into their enemy's throat. Can you duplicate the poison? No. Not without a giant scorpion. Now, what we need is something that'll penetrate that small area exactly and then send some sort of poison into the circulatory systems. Uh, what it could be, I have no hmm. idea. We'll deploy a small level. throat lozenge. But with a meeting on Friday, I'm sure we will reach a solution. Gentlemen, I do not have to tell you that everything no, you don't. Be here quiet. is absolutely secret. This I'm going to tell. All million people. If word of these leaks out, the panic of the population could be worse than the scorpions. He's got the pie sign on his head. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Stork Club, I think I'll have the bowl. You, nice honey? Dress. Nice girl. Well, well thank you. Oh, you mean me. I'm glad you can see me in something else besides those clothes I wear at the ranch. Hmm? Huh? You in that woodchuck clothes. costume? So am I. Hank, what's the meeting on Friday about? Oh, some geophysical about three conference Dr. Velasco roped us in on. Cigarette? Nothing. Yes, it is. <laughs> you finish that, where, uh, where am I taking you for dinner? Uh, how about hey, the IHOP? It's only nine o'clock. That's what I mean. Do you realize this is Mexico City and no one has dinner before 11 o'clock at night? Then it should be easy to get a table. Why, it's practically afternoon right now. What are you, on Dr. Dr. Seuss time all of a sudden? Hey. Oh, am I going to have trouble with you? Well, you work on teacher. I think you can solve me. Hey, look at me. I'm a Rubik's Cube all of a sudden. Whoa. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the toboggan room at the IHOP, Another waffle, my dear? Another short stack for table 12. Aren't you overdoing it a bit, Hank? No, these waffles go right to my head. I'm in love. It'll last for two months. What's the matter? Don't you like caviar? Oh, I love it. But not on my pancakes. I never understand why it's so expensive. Well, it's a whole year's work for a sturgeon. <laughs> that guy. He's a card. He's a regular fish it's egg. All it's been wonderful ones. these past two days. Yeah, should I, I be going to bed ready? or going to work or getting to. up or... There's oh, water wow. coming out of his neck. Look at that. I wish you'd change your mind. You don't have to go away and that volcano can wait. No. You'll get through with your speech tomorrow and your silly expedition. And I'll do everything I have to do. And then when we come back, we won't have a worry in the world. Yeah, except you'll make me look at his model train all night, probably. Big crusty scorpions here. Get your big crusty scorpions. I was afraid of this. Scorpion hobos. Putting pesos on the tracks to see if they flatten. Hey, Krusty, what's your sign? Just kidding. <laughs> I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Ugh. Ugh. 
What's worse? Hey, get me! I'm messing up timetables! Whoa! Well, he's gonna play chicken with the train. Wow, I should not have had all that tequila. I feel so rocky. Oh, man. Aye! The bug on your windshield. Hey, this isn't my fault. I'm taking no kind of pay cut for this. Now, if you look out the left side of your train, you'll see the right side of the train. Ooh, ooh, canned people. Mm, scorpions just love trains. Uh, we at Amtrak would like to apologize for any inconvenience that may have caused. This rarely ever happens. Oops, not quick enough. It's gotta hurt. I'm hungry for Mexican. Don't run, just look unappetizing. He ordered a stinger. <laughs> Smear yourself with axle grease. They hate that. Now, for you folks uh, playing at home, keep in mind, scorpions, unless genetically mutated, do not growl. It's like a scorpion battle royale happening. We interrupt this program to bring you a news bulletin. The express train from Monterey has been derailed outside of Mexico City. Early reports indicate an appalling loss of life. Do you know the way to Monterey? ...that monster scorpions have swarmed around the wreckage, creating havoc. One moment, please. We're trying to get through to the emergency But area. first, perhaps you would like to Reports upgrade your pledge from the $50 to the $100 level. ...units indicate that many of the victims of the disaster are so badly injured, there is little hope of their survival. It's called death. Deal with it. ...private cars, trucks, and other vehicles have been commandeered by the authorities in this emergency. We have received a verified report from the scene of the wreck confirming that 129 persons are killed and hundreds unaccounted for. Survivors report that a giant black scorpion has attacked and killed the smaller scorpions and is now headed for Mexico City. We were trying to find you. What can we do? Well, you don't ask Groucho. We're still not sure how many of them are left, but I believe the largest may be the only one. With the lust for blood after the wreck, the scorpions went mad. The largest killed four of them and I think may have killed the rest of them. Where is the scorpion? We've lost it in the hills, 10 miles out of town. But the boys are dusting for prints as we speak. All right, it's 11 o'clock. Uh, time to eat now. Yes. It has been seen. Let's go. Better eat first. Hey, it's a Disney Channel. All inhabitants living north of Takamaya and west of Guadalupe are ordered to leave Hey, their Panama, 1990. What do you know? Listen, darling, you get in that building and stay there. The scorpion has not yet reached the city. It is now been verified that only one giant black scorpion is alive. It's panic days here in Panama. I must be crazy to be putting this much on sale. Completely surrounding the area where it was last seen. Panic young schoolboys, only $15.99. How do we do it? Volume, volume, volume. Don't put extension cords under loose rugs. Sections of the community have been thrown into a state of panic, adding greatly to the burden. How many college students do you think you can fit in this bus? Vital to the defense of the city. Rifles and cannon won't stop it. Major Cosillo here. Yes. We have narrowed the ring one mile along Insurgentes. Operation is proceeding. Okay, that's fine. Have Major Ortega meet us in front of the stadium with the weapon. What? Major Ortega, Major Ortega. This is Dr. Velasco. Meet us in front of the stadium with the weapon and generator. But what kind of weapon? Is it bigger than a bread box? I hope it is a weapon. Just now it is only a prayer. Dr. Velasco. Let's yes. pretend you understand. To move all the heavy equipment into the stadium. Colonel Sanchez, Colonel Sanchez, Dr. Velasco here. Move all the heavy equipment into the stadium right away. France, 1940. The Germans cross easily through the French battalions in Paris Falls. Millions run before the threat of the giant Nazi scorpion. Wait a second, this isn't Paris. 
not 41. I'm not Lowell Thomas. Serpentine. Ugh. It's panic days, Ooh. final hours. Everything must go. Every item in town is on sale. Everyone coming in with a black giant scorpion gets in free. No offer will be considered. Hot dogs and balloons for the kitties. Oh, hi, you crabby. You are looking live at Blasted Out Villagro Stadium, where just in a few minutes, puny local authorities will attempt to take on a giant, bloodthirsty, genetically bloated scorpion. The enters the throat. If I'm lucky, Dr. Velasco, but I have never used a weapon like this before. Oh, come on. You never worked on a whaling ship? The copper wire. Then the insulated wire, which leads to the cable and the generator. It should give 600,000 volts. That is, if we can find an outlet. Fly, monkeys, fly! <laughs> Plenty of parking. What the? Um, you should bring him in here. I hope so. Gee, if you're making About soup for 10,000, that's all you need to make a great stock. You might need more than one shot, Major. Hey, you can't leave those here. Damn frat boys. Meanwhile, in ancient Greece, the same war waged on. In the Vatican, Noriega cries, I need more beef. Nuns load truck after truck of tasty beef in an attempt to quell the hunger of the papal pal. Senor Moreno. Yes, yes. The scorpion is following the meat weapon. Sort of like a surreal version of the chuck wagon commercials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that you or is it starting to smell like beef in here? A fabulous arsenal is assembled. Tanks, firepower, snow plows, Chevys. Huh? I can seat you up front, sir. Wow, you know, Dan Wachowski really puts on a halftime show. Hey, when did the Elvis impersonators come out? Well, the missile didn't work. Let's send in the bulldozer. I feel the presence of the Great White. Watch for her to surface. The throat, Major. Remember, the white area on the throat. The head comes back just before it strikes. Right. Hit him right above the silk scarf, Tabby. You beautiful SOB, I read your book. Ugh. I'll be Pavlov, watch. Ding, 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 ding. Did they use that mucus shot a few more times? Shoot. You missed! You should have used a spinner bait. Now go out there and get it. No, 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 watch out for that. No, Don't. No. Oops. I'm Union. I can't touch it. Sorry. Don't 
persistent scorpion. Oh, we missed the first half. Oh, nice move. But I gotta wonder if there wasn't a little contact with the ground there, and that would nullify the play. Now, well, let's roll back the uh, instant replay here. Yep, there it is. Definitely contact with the ground. I wonder what he wants. Got to make this good. My babe's in the crowd. The spear is up and it's good. Mm. Score. Mexico three. Scorpion nothing. I like mine crispy on the outside. While Jim subdues the angry scorpion, I'll mix up a roux for a tasty gravy. Now, while your scorpions are being caught, you could uh, fix up a nice salad that could be done uh, when you're ready to serve. He's down to the count. You touch him. I'm not going to touch him. You laughed when I started my soup stock. <laughs> Young cayenne pepper. Woo, good stock, I guarantee. Now we can Woo. secure some of the actual poison from the scorpion eater, Rex. All right, Analyze serve the salad. A simple protection against them, if ever again. Hank, Belasco wants to. Gentlemen, we must not waste any time. If we could all meet tomorrow at Fresh from his Broadway stint as Leonard. Capitulation. Hank, Senorita Alvarez, we have not yet finished. Oh, Neither we have. We. was beauty that killed the beast. We better get out of here. That scorpion's not gonna be drooling anymore, that's for sure. Yeah, let's get out of here. Is that just a serving suggestion, by the way, there? I yeah, is. I think so. We finally got through wow. that one. That's the end of the experiment, and it's time for our favorite segment of the show when we get to read some of the really great fan mail we've been getting up here on the satellite of love. It's juicy self-indulgence. Yeah, it's great. Cool. And uh, this first one comes from a Kel Kevin Covey. Let's put that up on the screen, Cambot. And Kevin writes, I enjoy watching MST3K very much. Uh, the old 50s and 60s black and white horror and science fiction movies are a passion of mine. The worse they are, the more I like them. Anything that gets more than a one-star rating in the TV guide is too good to be watched. Well, that says a lot for our show, doesn't it, you guys? Yeah, that's a lot about self-abuse. Yeah, too. Kevin L. Covey. The next one we've got is uh, addressed to you, Crow. It's from Tony Me? Hepdart from Palo Alto. He says, uh, Dear Crow, let's have an extreme close-up here on Crow as I read this. Dear Crow, I think you're doing a fantastic job. <laughs> I find your commentary, for the most part, insightful and relevant. Mm -hmm. There are times, however, when it appears as though you are forcing mm -hmm. the issue. Ha, psych! And uh, just trying a little too hard. I understand the frustration you must feel, given the fact that you are such a unique entity in your field. Uh, true, I'm an artist. You, you know, must, subject to moods. You must feel as though your cronus somehow stands out as a glaring defect, lessens your cred credibility in the public mind. Because of this, you sometimes talk simply to be heard. Simply to say, hey, no, I'm I don't Crow. think so. I don't I just talk that. simply to be heard. Sim I have a reason behind my talk. Simply to say, hey, I'm Crow. Look at me. And this, my friend, is dangerous stuff. I sense you are slightly ill at ease of being the only Crow host on TV. By trying to prove to the others that you are indeed capable of the task at hand, 
you actually do damage to your own cause. I uh, realize the pressure you are under and wish thanks. only the best for you and Servo. Uh, that's enough. I think that's great. Thank you. These remarks were not intended to be scathing, but rather as helpful aids to your future success. Yeah, uh, thank story. you very much. This is great. So I love that's this from part Tony Papadard. Yeah. And uh, what thanks, do you think Tony. Of the, loser. What do you think of the experiment, sir? Take it easy there, you two. What about the address? Oh, the address, we always forget that, don't we? Uh, do you want to do it, Tom Servo? Cam, I'll put it up on the screen for the folks on Earth. It's the Mystery Science Theater 3000 Information Club, P.O. Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota, 55343. Have the biggest brain on your block. Well, that's it, Serge. What do you think? I think the swelling's going down. Yes, and I think you should file this. Here. Fine. Until next time, Mr. Skin-On Wiener.